Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. Can anyone tell me how he passed away? He was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. Alright, he was stabbed while he was leading the prayer. The narration goes on to tell us that Umar radiallahu anhu has this big open wound. He has literally a hole in his stomach. And he's lying there and he's bleeding out and he's fading in and out of consciousness. And then while he's in that state and in that condition, he hears the call, the adhan for prayer. And he starts getting up. Everyone around him is like, oh, wait a second, where, where do you think you're going? He says, I have to go pray the Adhan. I have to go and pray, it's the Adhan. He said, you're dying. You have a hole in your stomach. What do you mean you're going to go pray? And he says that, I remember the Prophet Wasallam telling me that there's no deen for the one who doesn't pray. That the Salah is like the head and the body. I have to go and pray. This was the commitment that these people had to pray. As long as I'm alive, Salah is something I do. That's the commitment, the, the connection that they have with prayer. So this is from Surah Maryam, Surah number 19, Ayah number 31. My Lord has firmly commanded me to pray and to give charity or to purify myself as long as I am alive. Ma dumtu hayyan, as long as I remain alive. This is a statement of Isa alayhi salam. This is a very powerful reminder about our approach to prayer and how we approach prayer and how we perceive and think and how we implement prayer in our lives. You see, we're supposed to pray, it's saying, as long as I am alive. Till my last breath, I am committed to salah, to prayer. Now what does that exactly mean? It means no matter what comes up, prayer is something that I will hold on to till my last breath. I will concern myself with till death. And the Prophet ﷺ demonstrated this, he lived this. Now this isn't just theory, this isn't something just fancy to say, it's not just a fancy slogan, the Prophet ﷺ lived it. You know, a, about a week before the passing of the Prophet ﷺ, he fell very ill. He became ill. And the Prophet ﷺ was incapable of standing up and even walking on his own, very soon after. So the Prophet ﷺ, what he did, Prophet ﷺ would send for two Sahaba, they would come to his home and they would carry him, he'd put their, his arms around their shoulders and they would literally carry him to the prayer like this. But he'd still go for prayer in this condition. He'd still go to pray like this. Teaching us, prayer is something we do till our last breath. 